Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a massive fashion overhaul. How'd you get the box? Because I'm a box? That's like a yeast infection. Oh. stuff to try on for you today to kind of make up for the fact I haven't done a clothing haul in quite a while and I know every time I post a video you guys are asking for more clothing hauls and I do apologize for that but it's coming into winter now so I just did a huge clothing shop so I thought it was the perfect time to do a haul. I didn't really want to go and you know do a clothing haul and call it a haul but I only order like two things. To start I have so much stuff. <laughs> Holy shit. The stuff I ordered is quite a big mixture of different clothing and a lot of stuff that I haven't actually worn before but I've kind of seen bloggers and that wearing online that I've kind of felt like I want to try out. Some of it hasn't gone too well, starting with these ripped shorts. I don't know if you've seen people wearing these lately but they're like quite a trending style for me at all. Like my legs look like little sausages. Josh thinks I look absolutely hilarious wearing them so these are a definite no for me. Everything I've ordered is in a medium, all the jeans or jean shorts are all in a size 7. So New Zealand sizing on, um, yeah, typically a medium, uh, like a large 8 to 10. This jumper is my favourite. I love it so much, it looks so, so cute. Teamed with some jeans, it's really flattering, it's a little bit warm, but it's really good for layering as well, so I'm probably gonna start wearing this underneath a, like a white coat, even maybe a beige one, I love this so much. I just ordered a few two-piece sets, and that's not really something that I would tend to really wear, because I feel like my fat kind of sausages up in the middle a little bit too much. I do really like the color of this, I do really like the fit of it. I'm definitely going to wear more often. As you can see, it is quite a flattering shape, but the top is just too big. I really wish that I'd ordered a small in the top and a medium in the bottoms. I don't think you can actually do that though, but I would definitely need to go down in the top. Because of that, I don't think I'm going to wear this again. 100% be keeping the skirt and be teaming it with like a lace bodysuit or just a plain white one. Follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this do a few appearances. I actually lost it in, I'm gonna say Samoa. Had to order it again. This is my absolute favorite little kimono for over the top of bikinis and that kind of thing. I feel like it's a good little cover up for if you're going to eat some lunch or just literally anything. I'm obsessed with it. And the detailing on it. This is probably my favorite fashion other thing I've ever got in my entire life. I'm not really sure where this goes. <laughs> what the fuck? This is a bikini, I'm gonna figure out how to put this on. Really hope this is on wrong. It's like four at the cost of Playboy. I wouldn't really say this is the most flattering bikini. It's a nice material, but I really don't have the body for it. It's just not a thing. Gorgeous white. Almost an off white actually. A uh, midi dress. Flower pinning on it is almost metallic. So gorgeous. I feel like it's quite a flattering dress as well. We'll definitely be keeping this. This looks like it needs a bloody good iron. Why I ordered this, I do not know because it's, as I said, it's coming into winter for us, so I really don't know why I bought a play suit. But everyone else is coming into summer, so I couldn't resist. I thought it was quite cute. And it is really cute with the detailing and the buttons and stuff. Probably just wear this with like little Chuck Taylors or other kind of sneakers, hair up in a bun kind of day. Don't think it's the most flattering, but I don't think that kind of style is ever made to be flattering. It's empathetic, I am. I actually just got this outfit so I could do a cute like pizza post on it on Instagram because I thought it was like a really cute colour and now it's arrived. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's really, really nice and comfortable. Whether or not I would wear it to bed, I'm not entirely sure because I feel like it's quite tight around the butt and I kind of like wearing kind of big oversized stuff to bed, I just find it more comfortable. I feel like this would just give you the worst couch bone and you just won't get anything, but each to their own. If you like sleeping in cute stuff, I definitely recommend this. It's more like a slumber party with a girls movie night kind of vibe rather than like, I'm trying to 
tragic and having to sleep for five days when we go to fuck to bed kind of outfit. Winter I'm like really gonna get into doing layering and stuff a lot more so I decided to get a few t-shirts and stuff just so I can layer them underneath jackets so I know these are quite boring. I've actually already worn it only arrived yesterday but I just thought the colour was really cute and I love that it's ribbed so it's still a little bit more detailing, adds a little bit more texture to your outfit but it's not too fitted so it's really good for tucking into jeans and that. So I actually got this top here, as you can see it fits quite well. Finally found some white jeans that I actually love. I swear to god, I must have bought like five or six pairs of white jeans over the years and all of them look horrific on me. You have to have a certain material and a certain cut for white jeans to not look like sausage stuffing. I feel like there's a lot of sausage being talked about in this video, but you know, it's just like really unflattering and your legs look really short and really chunky and it's just it's not a good look but these are amazing the high-waisted so they kind of cover up whatever you have for lunch there's button detailing all down the front they're really flattering that is one thing I don't care what anyone says fashion over jeans you cannot beat them they have the best jeans ever so these are actually in a size 7 so it's a 28 Love these. This is, you would have 100% seen this before, Kylie Jenner did a post for Fashion Nova wearing this and I feel like everybody bought them. And I totally thought it was going to be one of those dresses that you put on and you're like, oh damn, that's right, I don't have Kylie Jenner's body, I look disgusting. But it is actually so bloody nice to just wear with anything, like white sneakers ankle boots, over the knee boots, underneath a coat by itself, any kind of hairstyle. It's a really good kind of like in between dress up to go to dinner or dress down for a day kind of vibe and I'm obsessed with it. The red version of that black bikini. I've really come with all the trying to figure out how to get into this. <laughs> oh no this one's different, it's like a goes on her neck. I don't even remember ordering that. Mm, I like it's a bit, it's a bit much for me. Um, the colour's really nice, I really love the little details on it and the little gold buckles. did a big clean out of my closet and tried to get rid of a whole bunch of my stuff and I realised I don't really have any outfits for kind of going out in so I decided to order this kind of rust colour which I've been really loving at the moment, um, bandage dress. Now I didn't actually realise it was a bandage dress because I never read anything, I'm absolutely useless. Love it? Not really. Will I wear it? Probably not. It's a bit like clean stuff under the armpits, so I don't really like the fit of it that much. Um, it's also halter neck as well, which I don't personally think really suits my body type too well, but the colour and stuff is gorgeous and it is flattering overall, it's just not the most comfortable dress, but I, but I mean this is kind of like what I wear day to day, so don't listen to me. Last but not least is another kind of rust colour, clearly this is <laughs> a colour I've been really liking lately. This jumpsuit needs a bloody good iron. What's opinions about it? Not really sure. I don't really know when I'd wear this. Celebrities and stuff teaming this kind of thing with white sneakers. Again, don't really know if it's something I'd be able to pull off. Not 100% on it. It is, however, a really nice material and it is a nice fit to it and stuff. Not really my thing. It just looked really nice on the model, but not really my thing. And this was also in my haul as well, so this little red crop top, does not go at all, but it was a bit cold. And this khaki kind of throw over top, this is really nice and soft. This is really nice and soft and I love the colour and the fit of it, it's just kind of like a cool comfy kind of jumper for around the house. So I think this will obviously get a lot of wear out of it as well because I'm such a little homebody. And I also got some little black biker shorts as well. A lot of the girls wear them with the kind of padding bits at the front. Not padding, it's like specs. It's contouring shorts, I don't know. That kind of thing at the front which kind of holds you in but I feel like my butt starts quite high so they kind of push my butt down and make me look really weird. So I do like that these ones are really light thin material but if you are looking for some kind of sucky in kind of bike shorts these ones would not be the ones for you. Like they are good, high waisted, but for me they're perfect because they're like nice light material, so they're good for around the house. But definitely not sucky in kind of shorts. So they are a medium 
I tend to be a medium pretty standard and they are a little bit big now. I've worn them today and yesterday when they arrived. So that kind of gives you an idea that you should probably size down a bit if you are going to be getting the bike short. I also got the khaki bike shorts of this as well. I did feel the same with those as well. I felt like I needed to kind of size down a bit. So just keep that in mind if you are buying bike shorts from Fashion Nova. But that is the end of all of this clothing. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to subscribe and press the little bell button because I'm going to be doing a lot more clothing haul videos coming up very soon. Thank you so much for watching.